Hi, I'm Nathan Hort, CTO of Follow My Boat. In my previous video, I explained how blockchains work. In this video, I'd like to describe how we at Follow My Vote are using a blockchain to create an end-to-end -end verifiable voting system. You can create a voting system on a blockchain by formulating the various steps involved in voting as transactions on the blockchain. First of all, you have ID verification. A person has to prove that they are actually allowed to vote in a given election. This can be done as a transaction on the blockchain. Then you have setting up an anonymous voting account, which can be shown to be owned by one of the IDs, which has been verified, but you can't tell which ID owns it. And you know for a fact that each ID owns at most one voting account. So creating this voting account can also be done as a transaction. And finally, once a person has a voting account, they can use that voting account to broadcast their decisions on elections. When you put all of this together, what you get is a voting system which is based on a transparent public ledger. Because the ledger is public and everyone can inspect it, you get an end-to-end -end verifiable election where anyone can go and validate that the identities which voted in the election were allowed to, that each identity voted at most once, and you can do this privately such that once an identity has been verified, it can get a voting account, which we know belongs to one of those identities, but we don't know which one. Furthermore, when you have this end-to-end -end verifiable blockchain-based voting solution, you can start experimenting with new kinds of voting that we've never been able to do before. For instance, we can allow people to broadcast a new transaction after their first one that published a decision on an election, they can broadcast a new one which changes their decision on the election. And because we have the entire history, we can tell that the old decision is now invalid and the new decision is to be counted instead, which means that they can change their vote as new information comes to light. Or, alternatively, we could simply say that the first vote is the one that counts and you can't change it after the fact. Of course, the election ends at some point, and after that point, you can't change your vote anymore because the count has already been finalized. Another interesting feature that blockchain-based voting systems provide is the ability to have real-time election results. This allows people to count the votes and determine the current tally at any time. An interesting implication to this is that when you combine the ability to change votes with the ability to see votes in real time, you get a brand new kind of election where people can put out tentative votes that they reserve the right to change later but it allows them to express their opinion and to see how other people feel on the same issues, which means that decisions that people might not have been willing to stand behind permanently, they can now put out tentatively and then change their mind later based on the sentiments of the public. This allows people to make a more informed choice about which candidate has a chance of winning an election and to choose candidates based on their merits rather than based on who they think has an actual chance of winning. And of course, people can then change their vote at the last moment based on the candidates that they think have a chance to win. So that's how you can do end-to-end -end verifiable voting systems on a blockchain. Thank you for listening.